hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i prepped for labor because i had my baby on 11 11 um so yeah and this video is getting out a little bit late i think i was like 38 weeks pregnant here and i had him at 39 weeks so yeah this is me just cleaning the sink out um yeah, I had to wash the sink out really good because I put all the bottles in there with just hot water. So now that that's done, I'm going to be showing you guys, this is the soap that I decided to use. Um, I believe you could still use regular dish soap, but I was extra, it's my first baby, so yeah. And then I have the Nano Baby, or however you say it, bottle cleanser, it's electric, and this has been a staple in my home since my baby has been here. These are the Nano Baby. Oh, these are the Nano Baby bottles that I got him. He likes the Nano Baby pacifiers, so these work perfectly for him. Then, as you guys can see, I just have the sink filling up with extremely hot water, just so I know it's like extra sterilized. And I put a lot of pumps of soap inside of it because I'm gonna just give it like a bath kind of as well as cleaning it so yeah this is how it looks um these are silicone bottles i only use silicone and glass bottles with him and honestly i love the nana baby bottles they don't leak they're just they're just a staple i love them so this is me just taking everything apart the nipples the bottle pieces and just sterilizing them Now I think you guys call this event Avant Fips Avant. I don't know really how to say it, but these are the glass bottles. These bottles hold up to nine ounces, eight or eight. And then they also gave one that holds five ounces. I have not used the glass bottles on him as of yet, but I'm just so in love with the glass bottles. Like, they're just so, yeah, like, it just gives. 
but they also came with silicone wraps i'm gonna be showing you guys that later on so just in case i give it to him and he drops it it doesn't break These are the silicone wraps I was talking about. They only came with two, so I'm gonna obviously have to buy more. Or just take them off the bottles as I go, but I think I might be trying to give him the glass bottles like this week, and I'll see how it goes. I also bought this lawn from Target. It's like to hold the bottles while they dry. I don't understand why these things are so much money. I think I paid like $30 for this, but yeah, this it, it's good. I mean, it does its job, but it just dries off the stuff. So, I mean, yeah. You see how like it's so easy to clean it with this bottle cleanser like it's electric and I don't know I just love it maybe I'm extra but yeah After I'm done with that, I started to prepare my okra water because if you know, you know, people say that drinking okra water will make your labor easier. Honestly, I don't know if it did. I did tear just the first degree tear. It wasn't too bad. I did get stitches. Um, but I only drank one cup of this and you guys are gonna see like I barely drank the okra water But yeah, I had to add like 
Sprite or something to it because it was just disgusting to me. Oh yeah, and I added some mango nectar to it. Honestly, this actually made it a little bit better, but I still didn't like the texture, so that's why I added the Sprite. But after that, I shook it up, put it in the fridge, and then I made some raspberry leaf tea. That's also another staple if you are pregnant. You should drink raspberry leaf tea. I don't know if it really did anything to me. When I showed up to the hospital at 39 weeks, I was two centimeters already dilated. But my cervix was still hard, they said. Like, it wasn't soft. So, I don't know if these things work, but I was definitely drinking my raspberry leaf tea. But I wouldn't... I don't know. I can't talk about the okra leaf tea, uh, okra water, because I honestly wasn't um, consistent with it. Definitely like a different texture. Oh, we can do that. Uh, drinking this. Can I put like Sprite in it? Let's see. What is the chemical reaction? It's a little bit better with Sprite. You want to taste it? Oh my 
almost done. Alright, I'm done. Hi, my baby. He's so comfortable. He's so comfortable. Say hi to the vlog. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, um, I cleared out. This is my raspberry big tea. But I cleared out, like, majority of the stuff on this side. Got a vacuum still, as you guys can see. But, um... His bassinet is going to go on this side. And I think I'm going to be doing a vanity on this side for, like, my promos and stuff like that. I don't know. But I finally got a diaper cart. I had set it up with my mom. These are, like, all size one pampers. Even though I should have put newborn pampers here. I got a diaper warmer, a humidifier, a diaper genie, which his diapers are going to go in. I also have to set up the humidifier later on today. Um, and what else? The second shelf has like all his necessities that I showed you guys last video. Like diaper cream, the saline mist, his um washing stuff, wash rags, thermometer, and nail filer. <laughs> this your baby Dior. Let me show you. I'm gonna show you guys how his closet looks now because it looks way different from before um i put up all his clothes these are his newborn as you guys can see it gets bigger and bigger he actually has a first robe i loved this hoodie i got this from the polo store um this is 2t like a toddler that's two years old but I was like, I'm going to get it for him because I like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, he won't be wearing that for a while. But I also got him some Gap. And this is another Gap sweater because he's a winter baby. It's like you're everywhere. <laughs> but, yeah, I have a lot of size 1 diapers. If I don't use them all, I will be, like, giving them away. Cause like I don't want to waste them, and I already took them out the box, so I can't return it. Um, what else? These are like his pants that like I couldn't really hang up. It was weird. But yeah, yeah, I could see it. And then these are how his socks. I need to get more socks, cause like it's baby socks. Um, his hats, bibs, and burp cloths. We all thought that he was coming in October, but he had different plans. Um, and it's now November 1st, so. I didn't like how I looked in that, so I'm filming this over. But as you guys could see, that was my little prep. I did Oka water and I sterilized his bottles. And I also did a raspberry leaf, which is actually right here, but I'm having it cool down. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be like cleaning the whole house up from bathroom to kitchen, mopping, scrubbing down everything. Because like, honestly, I already know I'm not going to have time to be doing that when, you know, he gets here. And I am whispering because it is like 4 to 5 a.m. right now. I don't know. I'm recording off my phone. But I definitely just, I don't, I can't sleep. And I don't know. I just felt the want to do this. Um, You guys, I don't know. I know you guys probably have a lot of questions. Because this is like the end. So, like, it's over with now. It's, I'm 38 weeks. Right now, I'm feeling a lot of pelvic pressure. I'm also going to add to this video, like, me going to the gym and what I do in the gym. All I do is, like, bounce on the ball. I do, like, a little sumo, sumo or su whatever, squats. Like, just opening up, you know, stretching. Um, and then I also do the treadmill. What do I do on the treadmill? Oh, yeah. I walk on the treadmill for 15 minutes with an elevated level like it's like elevated instead of flat so i walk 15 minutes on that like i'm walking up a hill but yeah right now 
it is like November 2nd because it's like 5 a.m. I'm 38 weeks, two centimeters dilated, and I'm ready to get my baby out of here. And meet him. Um, also, as well, I'm going to be doing a bump update for you guys because you guys haven't seen my bump probably since like 32 weeks. So, actually, no. I think you guys just seen my bump like at 34 weeks because I think it's been like four weeks since I uploaded. But yeah, I'm like super tired. So I'm going to be doing drinking my raspberry leaf tea and I'm going to wake up like early in the morning. Probably like 8 or 9 or 10. 10 is a good. <laughs> but um, yeah, like at 10 o'clock and then I'm going to go to the gym and show you guys what I do. This is going to be like a prep video. And then the next video is probably going to be me deep cleaning my house. You guys are going to be seeing that. I actually want to deep clean the carpet. Everything that I'm, I could do that I'm not going to be able to do. And I think I showed you guys where I want to set up my vanity. I'm going to do that before he gets here. So I'm going to have to buy a table, a mirror, and a chair. So that one's, I'm doing my hair promos. I could do it in here while he's sleeping right next to me or my promos in general. So, yeah. Do you or can I wait to meet his baby brother? Mm, my big boy. My big boy. He's like, mommy, stop waking me up. Okay. This is like my first baby. If you know, you know. He doesn't even know his time is coming to an end. <laughs> You're like going from a baby to a toddler. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, oh yeah. Another thing that I was saying is that I do want to go all natural. I want to push out vaginally. I don't want to push out. I don't want to do a C-section. No epidural. So, yeah. We're going to see how my labor and delivery goes. I'm definitely going to be doing a labor and delivery vlog. Um, I haven't been recording my appointments lately because it's like, if you know, you know, appointments just be like in and out. Like, it don't be nothing. But yeah. I'm ready to... I'm ready to go. Because I don't even feel like myself. Like, as you guys could see, my face got, like, so much batter. This is too much. Like, I just feel, like, not myself. Like, I feel so big. I can't wait to go back in the gym and lose this weight. I think I gained, like, when I last, I just went to the doctor, and I was, like, 150 on the nose. So, I'm still gaining weight, because I was 145. <laughs> and it's like, damn. <sighs> and I got a little bit of stretch marks. He's asleep right now. He's not moving. I don't know if you guys could see. But I do have a little bit of stretch marks now. I think my belly did drop. I don't know if you guys are seeing this. But. Yeah. I'm going to actually go to the bathroom and show you guys right now. Before I go to bed. But yeah, that wraps up this video. I love you guys so much. And I'm going to be showing you guys the bottles. As well. So I got to get up and do that. I'll just do it tomorrow. But. I'm going to definitely get up and show you guys my bump right now. So, yeah. So, this is the bump update. You guys see, like, the little stretch marks coming in. <sighs> see, I feel like my belly really dropped. This is my belly right now. <laughs> I should have painted my belly. But I didn't. Is it too late to paint your belly? Oof. 
but yeah that is it i'm so happy he's up now but now what i do is bio oil i'll be using bio oil now because these stretch marks have been coming in and like my bathroom is a hot mess right now but this is what i do to go to sleep be putting it on there the she and I also was like very I started getting insecure like at week 32 because of my stretch marks um and I was like dang like I don't know like how my postpartum belly is gonna look and I just was like very yeah insecure about that um but I learned to embrace it because 